Hello. So for if so for AP integrations, what you have used? Uh, I have used fetch as well as Axios for the API integration. Okay, what is the yeah. difference between fetch and Axios? Difference between fetch and Axios, uh, like uh, so, uh, Axios, uh, Axios has U URL in the request, whereas it doesn't in fetch. It doesn't has U URL in the uh, request object. Uh, then as parameters url as parameter it includes in fetch whereas axios it doesn't include so like it's redux yes yeah what is redux what is redux okay, uh, in real? so redux is a global state management it is used to read data from the redux store and to update data we, we dispatch action to the store So, uh, how you manage your data, which you need throughout the applications after login? With the help of uh, local storage. Okay. How it works? So, it is used to store data locally on the user's computer. So, like it means data is stored on the user session and unlike it is unlike cookies, you can say. Like uh, we can do with the help of key value pairs. What are the difference between functional and class component? So a class component it is used for uh, like it it is used to extend the react component and creates a render function whereas the uh, functional component it is uh, nothing but a plain JS function and it returns a react element after accepting prop as an argument and uh, one more difference which I can think of is the lifecycle method like in a uh, class component we use component date mount component date update component fill and mount so uh, for uh, this in functional component we use use effect with the help of use effect we can do okay what are the different types of uh, components uh, class components and functional components are the difference between control and uncontrolled components so in uh, control component the form data it is handled by the state whereas in uncontrolled component the form data it is handled by the norm uh, ha okay have you ever used error boundaries yes i have yeah. what is what are error boundaries error boundaries uh, it is used to catch the errors in the child components and after that it will display the error message so so mainly it is used to catch the errors in the child component Handle the errors like uh, if you have a functional function which you have uh, logical implementations right? yes uh, and if there are any error in that implementation how you handle that errors uh, with the help of use error handler hook we can do we can like uh, it allows us to like throw the errors okay. you can see. how to prevent re-rendering uh, with the help of uh, two hooks uh, there are two hooks uh, that that is used to prevent re-rendering uh, use memo and use callback okay how it works so use memo in use memo what it will happen is the function will only run like if the def so if dependency change then only the function will run use callback it returns memoize callback function whereas use memo it returns a memoize value so the main difference is the return value okay uh, have you uh, how you implement lazy loading in react so uh, lazy for lazy loading we use uh, react.lazy so it is uh, it is a built in function okay. what is hoc higher order components <laughs> So HOC is uh, so it will take a component as an argument and it will return a new component. So mainly like when we want to expand the list, highlight the text, uh, highlight or unhighlight the text for that purpose. Mainly for that purpose we use. Okay, so we can say that uh, multiple module, multi multiple component rendering using HOC, right? Yes. So how you transfer data between React component to React components? Uh, like we can transfer data like with the help of props 
with the help of uh, context and with the help of uh, redux yeah, yeah. okay yeah uh, do if uh, we have a resizable uh, like a responsive design we have implemented right do we need to re-render re the view or it will make it uh, automatically? Uh, in responsive design, it will automatically uh, re-render. Yeah, for well, now we are done. There will be a second 